Hey guys, today I have a new lip product from Laneige. This is the Lip Treatment Balm, and I'm going to compare it a little bit to the Lip Sleeping Mask from Laneige because how can you not? I mean, the Lip Sleeping Mask is probably one of my favorite products in general ever. So any new hydrating lip product that Laneige comes out with, it's kind of hard to not compare it to the, like their best product ever. <laughs> Keep in mind, they are still different. They're both hydrating lip products. One's kind of for nighttime use and then this one is just a daily lip balm. So the balm is 32 Canadian or 25 US dollars and you get 0.35 ounces or 10 grams of product. Compared to the lip sleeping mask, uh, the mask is 26 Canadian or 22 US dollars. You get 20 grams or 0.7 ounces of product. So you get twice the amount of product in the lip sleeping mask and it's less expensive. So the packaging of the balm is Fine. I don't love it, I don't hate it. I'm just neutral towards it as far as the appearance goes. But for functionality, I really like this little applicator that they have stored in the lid. The lip sleeping mask does come with an applicator as well. I just never wanted to use it, but I feel like I'm more inclined to use this one because it's just, it's here all the time. And then once you use it and it's all sticky, you can just stick it in here and it's very clean. It keeps your hands clean. You don't have to touch a, you don't have to get your sticky wand everywhere. <laughs> so it is super handy. According to Laneige, the scent is pina colada, but it smells exactly like something that I've used before. Some other product sometime, I don't know what it is, but it smells exactly like it. And it's bothering me so much because I don't know what it is. It kind of reminds me of being like, 13, 14 years old, but something else that I've used before smells exactly the same as this. And I cannot for the life of me figure it out. So if you know what I'm talking about, please let me know so I can stop going crazy. I don't know. I can't think of it. Please help me. Please help me figure it out. So it just comes in the one scent. It's a good scent. I just, ooh, it's bothering me. The lip sleeping mask, of course, has tons of scents. Currently on Sephora right now, there's six different ones you can choose from. I have the grapefruit one. I love that one. I love the original berry one. They've got lots of yummy options. So as far as the texture goes, the balm is definitely a bit thinner than the lip sleeping mask, which is to be expected because it's just a daily balm. It's hard to tell while they're both in the packaging if you're just playing with the uh, applicator, they both feel equally as thick. But once I apply the balm, it totally thins out, which is comfortable for a balm because that's the whole point of it. You don't want to have this thick mask on your lips throughout the day if you can get away with it. So it's definitely very comfortable. So it applies really nicely, sinks into your lips. It's not too sticky or heavy or greasy or anything. It's a very comfortable lip balm. And the balm is clear, but it has this pearlescent -ness to it. It looks really pretty in the sun. You can see all the little flecks of purple in there. It's super nice. Um, and it just gives it a really pretty finish. It also feels cool and minty when you first apply it So it makes it really refreshing and it lasts a super long time and it really makes your lips feel hydrated So it does what it's supposed to it's a really good lip balm It does claim that it'll smooth your lip wrinkles and kind of boost the fullness of your lips And I mean maybe while it's on that's the thing any type of gloss or like lip product is gonna make your lips look juicy and full and a bit more smooth because it's putting something on there that hides the wrinkles. Any type of hydrating lip product. So yeah, while it's on, it looks great, but it's not like it's actually changing how your lips look without a balm on. It also has coconut oil for hydration and it really does feel hydrating. But overall, it's definitely better than your average lip balm. It's more hydrating, it's super comfortable. It's got a nice subtle pearlescent sparkle, super nice in the sunlight. Be careful though, because if you apply too much, it can look kind of milky and white on your lips, which is not a good look, but if you don't, go overboard with the amount of product, like just put what you're supposed to, it looks great. However, if I'm going to choose between the balm or the lip sleeping mask, like if I'm just looking for a quick bit of hydration throughout the day, I'm gonna go with just a thin layer of the lip sleeping mask. It's way more effective than the lip balm. Plus it's less expensive and you get twice the amount of product. So it's just, it's better that way. But if you do wanna try out the balm, I think you'll like it. It's a great lip balm. Anyway. That's all I have for today's video. Let me know if you'll be trying this out, if you're gonna pass on it, I'd love to hear it. And I'll see you later, bye.